Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know what I should do? I should probably do a hard save before I go into the dungeon, along with putting my rupees in the bank and stuff. So, uh, BRB. <sighs> okay. So, I also went, you know, ran through the grass to get some arrows and stuff. So, anyway, are you ready? Are you ready? Play your song. Obviously, that was not the correct pacing, but I'm playing with the C stick, so sue me. <laughs> so, new wave bossa nova by her. It'll, it'll tell her, hey, yeah, your babies are just fine. Don't worry about them. I didn't reset time or anything like that, and they didn't get taken back by the pirates or the eels or something like that, or, you know, you just, you know, I wouldn't mind if you did a little something for us. Some Deku nuts in that tree, by the way. <laughs> you know, the graphic for it. I know it's supposed to be a coconut, but looks like a Deku nut to me. And now, after that song, the turtle awakens! Wait, a turtle? What a tur- what a turtle? What, what the- what the poop? Where'd this come from? This is like out of left field. <laughs> and we got a turtle! And the turtle is like... I'm waiting for it. The turtle is like... Mm, oh, I slept quite well. So I knew he had dialogue coming up. <laughs> I just realized this smelled nice. The basket days is quite quick. It isn't it, Lulu? Lulu is like... Yes, Lulu. It's nothing to be surprised at. Although my eyes are closed to sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. It seems Lulu's confused. Regrettably, there's no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zora warrior. Your voice is still gone, by the way, they're implying. The open seas of the Greek Bay have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back! Now, uh, you can't actually just, like, uh, climb up there if you wanted to. <laughs> You've actually got to use the hook shot to get on there. God, what's going on? And my voice! What happened to me? She can talk! She can talk! Creepy temple ahead. <laughs> so anyway, let's get out of this. Let's... Oops, let's add that. And let's try to hit one of these trees. This could be a little dicey because it's moving. Yeah, it's just it's nudging around a little bit. There we go. When you get on top of the back, it'll automatically be transported to the dungeon via cutscene. Now watch the game freeze. <laughs> so that's yeah, that's a dungeon way over there. That fish covered with the I mean with the smoke all around it. Basically, yeah. But you know we aren't the only ones trying to get over to this dungeon here. There's a couple of Gerudo pirates probably gonna try and loot the place. And well, uh, well let's see what happens. Let's just let's see if they. Oh jeez. <laughs> Well, that didn't quite work as well. Eh, they'll be fine. They seem to have unlimited health, and I shoot them with arrows. And they'll, they'll their fall will be cushioned by the water-ish. <laughs> and... This is the dungeon. The Great Bay Temple. Ooh, spooky-ish. Bye bye, turtle! I hardly knew ye! And there's some stuff to get here, so. <laughs> I'd like to start out by getting out a bottle. Say that. And. That. Okay, okay. So let's go over to these barrels here, because I believe there's a fairy in one of them. Uh, well, there isn't, at least in those. There is bombs, that's for sure. And that could potentially come in handy. Oh, how did I hit that barrel and it didn't explode? Whoops. I didn't mean it. Well, anyway, as long as I get this fairy, there we go. Fairy is always nice to have on hand, especially because this, this dungeon's boss is horrible. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, okay, so now... I'll put that mask on there just to save time for the future. And I'm gonna stand right here. Because I think something will appear here if I stand here. And I think it'll be funny if it actually works out that way. Let's shoot 
What? Are you kid? I hit the torch and... Yeah. Fine, fine. Be that way. I want to light all the torches here with the powers of my fire arrows. There we go. Oh, they moved me. They moved me. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fairy! Yeah, there's 15 of them again. I know, I know. <laughs> Whoops, I wanted to get out this mask. I think there was the only one in here. Yeah, no sparkly hair. Okay, moving on. Oh, this is looking complicated. Whoa, that's a huge water wheel! And yeah, we, just, we stand here and just kind of do that infinitely. <laughs> you know, with the camera angle there. And I'd like to go in the water here first, if you don't mind. Just go down to the bottom. Because, look at that, there's a fairy down here. It's incredible. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't like the Zora controls before, or you did like them, well, you're gonna hate them here. <laughs> I, I assure you, because... Oops, no, 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 I, I want to... Oh, that worked out, actually. Because, uh, well, there's kind of some issues going on with the Zora controls in tighter areas. And since you've either got top speed, or just drop straight down to the ground via the B button, well, this is gonna cause you great ire. And unlike the 3DS version, your boomerangs... They hit the objects that, yeah, that, that they touch. So if you're Z-targeting something, like, say, in a tight room, you want to attack it. And you know how the boomerangs go out to an angle. Like, I wasn't Z-targeting anything there, or L-targeting, excuse me. So it, it didn't go out to an angle, so... But the thing about it is, if you are doing that, well, you're never going to hit whatever you are aiming at. Let's just put it that way. There's a fairy up here, I believe. Yep, that is what I thought. Oh, I got some arrows up there, too, but... Um, I don't actually think I need to use that platform, considering that I could just wait for it to come down to me. And I got plenty of arrows, so, eh, why not? <laughs> just kind of wait it out over here, there we go. Uh, no more fairies in this room, I guess. And there we go, beware of that Skulltula. Yeah, you gotta kind of zip past it before it kind of will get to you, and I'm, I should not have my fire arrows. I'm gonna waste arrows left and right here. Oh! I forgot there was another one up there. <laughs> well, whoops. I forgot I'm not a Zora here. Wanna get a little swifter. There we go. <laughs> and now I can transform back. Yeah, just, I figured it's easier to just transform back whenever it's the best opportunity to do so because... Oh, I was too close again. Well, <laughs> actually what I should be doing here is... Uh, I forgot about that forward movement. This is not the 3DS version. Is doing that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I want to jump on top of that water spout. It doesn't look all that solid, but I assure you it is. <laughs> and uh, that other switch over here, um, I do believe. Oh, did I actually have to? Oh, I think I actually have to do that. Hold on. So I have to do that jumping thing again, but not that bad when the spiders aren't there. <laughs> Basically, you want to push all these switches in place, I believe, if I recall correctly. I think this one will actually um, stop the water flow. Uh, and then that means I can't use that, right? No, I can use that. Um, uh, did I want to do that? I forgot. Well, oh yeah, I did want to do that because the, the platforms don't move. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted, just wanted to be sure here. It's been a while since I played this. So, yeah. And... It's back on again. It's kind of weird that the water doesn't turn on slightly. But like when you're partway through that, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's get back on top. There we go! Okay. So now all these little... Yeah, these pipes here with the water flowing through them. That's a part of something basically in the future uh, well actually it's 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 a part of the whole dungeon I guess you could say but uh, basically you want to turn all of those thingajiggers on so yeah the huge water wheel is powering this thing and there be a street ferry over yonder in one of the side barrels here or pots I forgot where it is so let's just go ahead 
and use our platforming skills to get across thusly. Um, this thing spins pretty fast. You might actually want to try and jump onto it up from, yeah, somewhere, oh shoot, that's, I took too long, somewhere around that area because it's, it's a lot quick, I mean, it's a lot easier getting on there when you are uh, closer to the middle than you are at the end because the end is spinning faster. Okay, there we go. And of course, I need the power of Goron, and the power of the Goron nets us a fairy. I think there's another one in here at the bottom of the, yeah, the pool. Uh, so I'm just going to hop down over here. I believe it is, and I should stop wasting my fire arrows, as I said. I believe it is all the way down in that pot, I think. Ah! Not close enough to the edge. I just shot the edge. Yeah, I think it's in that pot, if I recall correctly. I can get this with Zora too, but this works just as well, I suppose. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to take a peek, see around this room. I don't think there's anything else to see. Like, there's ladders that climb up to all the side platforms so you can jump up to here and whatnot. But it's not really like a essential thing to go to or anything like that, especially since you're on the clock. Uh, literally. <laughs> Alright, now pay attention to the water's current here because the, depending on the water's current is basically the only direction that you can go in. See the direction of the fish? That means we can go into this one. Yeah, oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, okay. <laughs> Skullfish, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, I hear them. I, at least I heard another one. Well, well. <laughs> okay, no skullfish for you today. Uh, I just want to take a peek see around here before I hook shot over to that chest over there. Um, so that's where you are. That's where you are. Oh, this is a new enemy here. Um, yeah, if you let it grab you, it, it'll just—it won't hurt you or anything like that. It just whips you around and then throws you away from where you need to go. So you got to kind of kill it before you can get through it. But anyway, um, I thought there was one more fairy down here. Yeah, whoop! Zora controls. It's already getting to me. <laughs> it's the tight area. See, like I said, you either got this slow descent or this really quick move. So it's it's not really the uh, the most friendly of things to work with. <laughs> just put it that way. Uh, just you're gonna see more of that later, though. I assure you. I got a hook shot over to. Hook shot over to the chests, and we'll get our dungeon map. Yeah, dungeon map. Yes. At least I believe this was a dungeon map. It was either that or it's the compass. No, it's a dungeon map. All right. So back to being a Zora because we can't really traverse this and get up there just yet. So down we go, and I'm gonna just go and uh, what? <laughs> just like so to get through them with the powers of the R button. I'm just gonna... Uh, I don't remember if there's anything else waiting for me here. I thought, yeah, it was just these duders. The Bio Deku Babas. Oh, by the way, if you ever stand on a lily pad um, that they're alive from, they'll toss you in the water and cause damage to you, so don't want to do that. Now, uh, here's one of those points where uh, you don't want to be L-targeting because you're gonna end up hitting the... Uh, hitting the walls as you're targeting, so don't... Oh, shoot! I, I thought I hit your head! Well, I guess I didn't. <laughs> Down we go, and here, I'll, I'll show you. Just try, just try, just try doing that L-targeting. Ain't gonna work, yo! <laughs> unless you're just, unless you're just that close to it or something like that, but yeah. It is so dumb, but at least they got rid of that wall impact thing in the 3DS version, which fixed that completely. Uh, so, basically, we're stuck to close combat when it comes to underwater, for the most part. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is another straight fairy, by the way. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to pop right into me, but you didn't. You didn't. You just kind of flew away from me. Maybe because I wasn't wearing the mask. Well, well, that's okay. Now, in here, um, remember I had trouble with a certain pot uh, getting a certain fairy? Um, I think this is the one that you can get it in. Yeah, I, f I figured out how to get this one uh, later on. See, that? yeah, that pot over there, 
I, I, I kept going through, like, way, way back in a video series that I made, I kept going back through that tunnel to try and hit that pot and collect it as a Zora, like, through the current, but that is absolutely the worst way you could possibly do that. The best way you can do that is to break that and then, uh, put on ye ol' fairy mask, and then just let it come to you. Because, yeah, that one is practically impossible to get <laughs> without the powers of the mask. And there's a real bomb chew over there. It's probably going to explode on me, but that's okay. <laughs> there's a compass. It's compass, yeah! And, uh, oh shoot! Yeah, I kind of forgot you were there for a second. <laughs> and the dungeon key is uh, right over there on the other side. I mean, the boss key, excuse me, is right over there on the other side. We can't get there! Too bad for you! At least not yet. Oh shoot! I forgot you were down here. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'll just kind of... I'll just kind of... I'll try and hit you with my boomerangs. It worked! Because I have enough room. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I wanna go. No, 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 no. See, if, if you press the A button next to a chest, and you're not gonna open it up, well, you're gonna kinda have issues opening that chest, because you're, you're gonna float. <laughs> Just saying. So, yes. Okay, so I got that chest, and now I believe we can leave this room via that current, because I don't think there is anything else for us to get here. Uh, I could try... Uh, oh shoot. Um, hold on a sec. I should try and kill all these... Shoot. Wait, what happened? Oh, you guys came off on your own. That's right, I forgot you do that. <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to cut them down, they just kind of just kind of fall on their own. So yeah, I'm not really not really trusting my uh, boomerangs here. Although they might help to an extent. Okay, alright, we're out of here. So yeah, I did- oh, oh, there's a stick that I could have gotten that from that other one, but eh, well, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna go down there because those Dexy hands. Yeah, that night, didn't I tell you, tell you their name? They're called Dexy hands. Look, just be careful! It's not my fault if you get too close and it grabs you! Well, it doesn't hurt you if it grabs you, but still. But still. Oh, wait, what's in these pots? Might as well see, because there might be a fairy, but I don't think there is. As a matter of fact, I think I got them all from this room. I did! Alright, going in and swimming back to the main room. Now we're gonna go and uh, take a look. See, that was the door that we went in before, I believe. And we're gonna go... Um, that's an exit, by the way, those... Yeah, those areas there. I think I gotta go in uh, this one next. And, oh geez, shell blades. And these are a pain because of the tight area. Remember I told you about that before in the fish tanks? Good luck hitting them with all the walls. <laughs> Let's just see if I can maybe get lucky here. Uh, oh, no! Then hit the wall, of course! <laughs> These, it is such a pain to try and hit these suckers, and yeah, um, I think I have to kill them all off too. I'm just trying to lead them over to a more open area, and oh no, no, I want to, I want to oh, open up, open up, up. Ah! I said open up. That forward momentum is so stupid too, <laughs> like when you use your arm thrust attack. Yes, I did a Pokemon reference. Yeah, because it, it, it tends to make you move into enemies. Yeah, um... Yeah... <laughs> I think there's some fairies down in here somewhere, I thought. At least there's a fairy somewhere underwater, I thought, in this room. Uh, Octorok. That is not a fairy. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go up and around. And see here. Uh, maybe this is the room where I can't do anything yet until I get the next dungeon item. I think that is the case. She's, she's like, if you could somehow step on top of the Octorok, I bet you could climb up to that central pillar. But the Octorok is so squishy and it keeps squirming around. There's got to be something you could do. Oh, jeez. Well, you can't. You can kill it, but that's not going to help you at all. You're basically, yeah, you just. 
put up your shield, and you just reflect the bullet at it, and, but that's, that, that's not going to help us. <laughs> we, we've got to go somewhere else. So I'm going to go through here. Oh, jeez. And, oh wait, this is leading me back to the middle room, so that was incorrect, wasn't it? Yeah, let's go back through here. And... Oh yeah, the enemies respawn and everything, that's, that's great. <laughs> oh, jeez! Uh, maybe there isn't anything more that I can do here. Oh, no, wait, there is! There is! Hold on, I forgot about the pipe! <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can walk on top of the pipes. No, I forgot about that. But you can. Oh, jeez. Good luck hitting it with your boomerang. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> uh, okay, I think... I think I can't reach that until I can do stuff. Well, I got that key from the other room, remember, so I can open this door. But I think I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue the Dungeon of Death. And it will... Well, it's actually more like the Dungeon of Annoyance, but it could cause you death, I guess, because of the annoyances in its own way, which I suppose death is an annoyance in on itself, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> we'll overcome it.